Hi all, welcome to the channel, welcome to my world to the world away. And boy, it's been a week of trials at the moment. I've got another one for you now from Hachette Partworks. It's Build the Mark 1A Spitfire. Now, before we get into this, let me just send out a big thank you to Stuart Morris. Mo Stuart Morris managed to get hold of this for me. I believe this trial is in the Newport, sort of South Wales sort of area at the moment. Uh, it is a trial. Uh, it's a four issue trial. So this is the first issue. I'm not quite sure when the second issue is coming out. But the model we're building is a replica of the Mark 1A Spitfire flown by A.G. Sailor Milan, a South African by birth who served with the RAF during World War II. He flew at Dunkirk in May 1940, becoming squadron leader of the number 74 squadron during the Battle of Britain. But um, I'm really excited about this. When I first heard it came out, uh, I did the old searching on the internet and uh, I found that Hasha had already released a video for that. So here it is now. And then after seeing that, I was completely sold. So uh, this is what issue one looks like. Uh, nice and big again on a card. Uh, we've got the propeller section that we're going to be building and the magazine, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, let me just turn it over so you can see what we've got. First off, the next issue is going to be $5.99. This issue was $1.99. The usual price is $9.99. And I do believe this is over 100 issues. Um, we've got some electrics by the look of it in the next one. So it looks like we're going to have a working propeller in this trial. Uh, but obviously, as you saw in the video, we've got a dynamic base display, uh, the wheels, the undercarriage come up, uh, the canopy and the cockpits open. I mean, it's just full of things that move, which is what I really do like about these builds. Um, turning it back over again, though, let's have a look at the magazine. OK, so here's the brochure here looking just like that. We've got a web address you can go to here, uh, www.spitfiremodel.com. Uh, and it just shows you pretty much what the video showed you earlier on, just all the dynamic features of this plane. Uh, all the history of the plane and how it was used in different uh, operations like Operation Dynamo for Dun uh, the rescues in Dunkirk uh, and all about what each magazine is going to have. So you've obviously got the build guide, the story of the Spitfire, about the fighter squadron, uh, all sorts of information. This is going to build up to be a valuable uh, lexicon of information for um, this iconic plane but uh, as you can see we've got in issue two we've got some of the motor sections here and uh, in issue three we've got assembling the engine blocks so we're going to start doing the assembling block so uh, quite a nice chunky uh, trial this is going to be let's have a look at the magazine then this is the magazine here and once again we've got all the information for subscribing so this is the bit that you'd give to your news agents here you'd fill out the back uh, and then when you are, do subscribe, they offer you free gifts. Now these free gifts change when it goes into full production. So if I was to turn this over and show you at the moment, we've got a, uh, a tin poster, we've got uh, a binder, we've got a Spitsire Sylvanier lighter, a metal display plaque like we had for the Bismarck, uh, but they are liable to change uh, once it's out of trial. But that's looking like that. And once again, we can send away for this. Now, if you did manage to get yourself a part one on the SpitfireModel.com website, they are asking you to fill out a survey and it's that sort of thing that uh, Hashit are really interested in. So if you have managed to get hold of one of these, fill in one of the surveys and uh, give them your feedback about what you think about this build. So the first page of the magazine here just shows us the parts that we've got and I'll get them out in a second for you and obviously we're going to be just putting the propeller together. So not really too much to do but it's a good way to get yourself into that. We'll have a look at each individual piece when I open it and as I mentioned all about the history 
of this uh, particular plane. Keep turning through. Full of information, these magazines. And then finally, at the end, as I said, just showing you what we got coming in the next issue, which is the motor that's going to operate the propeller um, together with a shaft and connecting gears for the spinner. But uh, yeah, looks really good. As I said, uh, I've, I've already got a big smile on my face because uh, primarily a lot of my family are in the RAF and we've got a big interest in this plane, uh, especially because uh, when it was first produced, it was sent to Duxford, uh, where my father used to be based. So, uh, you know, it's a bit... A bit touching that uh, I've got the Spitfire now, which I'm really pleased about. But anyway, look, without further ado, let's show you what this build's like. Let's get cracking. There we go. I've laid out all of the pieces of the propeller here. Now, the nose cone here is metal, and so is all the propellers. They're all in metal as well. Everything else you see here is plastic. So uh, it is a hybrid. We're going to have a plastic and a metal mix on this. Uh, I'm just going to push this all to one side because the first thing we need is the assembly template, which is looking just like that. Now this is gonna enable us to assemble the propeller without bending anything and breaking anything, which is a really important thing. So first thing we need is the propeller mount, looking just like that. And this is simply just gonna lie in the template, just like that. Then we've got this central cog here. We're gonna be putting that into the template, but we're gonna be putting it with the teeth up. So it looks like a little crown. And we're gonna be putting the crown on the head of that little mount there, looking just like that. Then we're gonna be taking one of the propellers, as I said, these are metal, and at the end, we're gonna be putting one of these cogs here. Now, as you can see, you've got the cog end and you've got a smooth end. It's the smooth end that's gonna go down the uh, shaft of this propeller here. You've got a little lug just at the end there, which is gonna fit exactly into that section there. So it can only go in one way. It's like putting a key in a lock, and then once that's in, it's gonna look just like that. And then we've gotta repeat that for all the other propellers we got here. So uh, make sure we put it in the right way. Push it down as far as it will go. And one more to put in, just like that. There we go. So we've got three propellers on the go. And then quite simply, we're just gonna be putting these propellers into the relevant template here. Now what I've done is I've tried to see what happens if we put them other ways around. And uh, they do fit a particular way. You'll know you've got it in the right way because it will feel right. So like I'm putting this one here in here now, mm, doesn't feel right. That way does. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I can't explain it, but ah, see that one's got imperfect as well. Uh, but they are pretty much how they are. They need to be tilted at the same way, which you can tell because of the template, it's really easy to get these in. And obviously these are locked in just in the middle there. So when this turns, it's gonna give you the option that when we turn one of these, it's gonna turn the cog, which will enable all the rest of these to turn. I might be able to demonstrate that when I actually put the next piece on. So the next piece is the outer part of the propeller mount, looking just like that. And that's just gonna go over the top of what we've just put in there. And we need to secure that with a screw. Now it comes with two screws. They label these as PB screws, and these are 2.3 times six mil screws. So put a screw just down the top there and screw that in nice and tight. There we go, all good. Now obviously I have to keep it on the template at the moment because uh, we've got the bottom mount which isn't attached at the moment, but I can demonstrate what those propellers do that when I turn these, as you can see all the others there turn as well, just by giving a little pressure. And I'm sure in the second stage when we connect the motor, we're gonna be able to demonstrate that uh, fully to you. Uh, and obviously the nose piece will eventually go over the top there, but we don't have to do that in this issue. So that's pretty much all we have to do in that issue. Now I can tell you now with the template, that weighs a fair bit. Now, just to give you an idea of how big that propeller is, if I get my ruler out, we're looking around about 17 centimeters square, it's gonna be. So uh, that'll give you an idea of the size of just the propeller. As I said, it has got some weight to it. So uh, it's gonna be a really good build, I think. Uh, I'd love to see this in full production. And I, it, as I said, it is a four issue trial. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to manage to get hold of issues two, three or four. I will really try my best to do that. Uh, but what do you think of that? Put it in the comments because I am feeding this back to Hash It. Um, I did say that there has been an interest in that and uh, asking where I could get them from. Uh, and thank God for Stuart Morris who's managed to come through and send me one of these so I can show all of you. But uh, anyway, I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please remember to give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, please remember to subscribe. Take care.